According to the National Parkinson's Foundation, in the United States, more than 50,000 new cases of Parkinson's disease are diagnosed each year, adding to the one million people who currently have it. Dr. Ramin Amirnovin of Pomona Valley Hospital Medical Center tells us how deep brain stimulation helps with this disease. Parkinson's is a degenerative disease of the brain. Uh, it's when a specific cell type that produces dopamine in the brain gets lost and therefore the brain doesn't have the dopamine and movement is hindered. The most common symptom is tremor for Parkinson's disease. The other symptoms include stiffness, shuffling gait, and in advanced Parkinson's it can even include dementia and loss of ability with cognition. Surprisingly, there is no exact test for Parkinson's disease diagnosis at this time. There is some uh, recent studies that showed a CT scan with what's called a uh, dopamine uptake study can demonstrate if someone has Parkinson's disease better, but in general, it's a clinical study looking for the symptoms of this crime. There is no exact known cause for this. Some families do have Parkinson's in the family as a genetic form. It isn't very common though, so it's felt to be a degenerative disease, a lot like Alzheimer's, but instead of being uh, demented, the patients get uh, tremors and slowness of uh, movements. The first line therapy for Parkinson's disease is still medications. Uh, replacing that lost dopamine uh, hormone or a neurotransmitter in the brain uh, is the first line therapy. So by giving patients dopamine, they feel substantially better. This lasts a long time for most patients. Unfortunately, it doesn't last forever. And something about 20% of patients down the line will get so bad that the dopamine will not be enough. Hence, deep brain stimulation, which is a surgery that can be helpful to patients with Parkinson's, has been used recently. Deep brain stimulation is best performed on patients under 70 years of age who don't have any loss of cognition from their Parkinson's. In other words, they're non-end stage Parkinson's disease. They're functioning, but they're just having a tough time functioning despite their medications. How is the deep brain stimulation procedure performed? The procedure in a nutshell for deep brain stimulation is putting in two electrodes into the brain into a small target in the depth of the brain that then attaches to a battery underneath the clavicle that constant, constantly stimulates the brain. This is hence like a pacemaker for the brain. In general, the trend towards doing earlier and earlier deep brain stimulation has been the case recently. The reason for it is surgical risks have decreased substantially over the last 10, 15 years, and patients insist on having higher quality of life. And so patients are not willing to give up their jobs and they're not willing to slow down their lifestyle and hence they're having deep brain stimulation earlier and earlier despite the risks. The doctor talks about the success of this procedure. 80-85% of people, based on the literature out there, are happy they had the surgery, which generally means they get a substantial improvement of their tremors, they get a substantial improvement of their walking, and they get a substantial uh, improvement uh, in their stiffness. And the effect is long-lasting. At 12 years follow-up, that number is still the same, which is the patients who were happy at the beginning stay happy 12 years down the line.